In the rush to adopt AI, it's easy to fall into a common trap, using machine learning for everything. This is a junior mindset. Senior data scientists deliver robust, simple, and effective solutions. And that often means avoiding the complexity of ML. This is about engineering maturity, avoiding costly pitfalls, and choosing the simplest, most robust solution for the problem at hand. So let's show three examples of when it's better not to use machine learning. Then we'll talk about a general framework for deciding whether to use ML or not. Let's start with a common feature, the most popular list. You could spend weeks building a complex personalization engine complete with feature stores and training pipelines just to battle inference latency for a real-time result. But what if you just need to show what's trending right now? The answer is often a simple SQL query, a count of clicks over the last 24 hours. It's fast, cheap, and perfectly interpretable. If you need even faster real-time updates, you can use an in-memory store like Redis with a sorted set. Both are orders of magnitude simpler than a full-blown ML solution. You don't need a neural network when a simple query will do. Next. Consider the billing system. Imagine you're calculating tiered pricing for a SaaS product. This is a classic if-then-else problem that demands perfect precision and auditability. An ML model is probabilistic. It gives you a probably correct answer. You can't probably bill a customer. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Trying to explain a billing error caused by a model's statistical uncertainty is a conversation no one wants to have. For anything requiring financial precision, simple, deterministic logic is the only responsible choice. Finally, let's tackle the cold start problem. You've launched a new product and want to show recommendations, but you have no user data to train a model. The answer isn't to wait. You bootstrap the system with a simple tiered fallback logic. First, try showing other items from the same category. If that's not possible, fall back to showing global bestsellers. This isn't just a temporary fix, it's a crucial data gathering phase. The rules-based system provides immediate value while collecting the interaction data you need to justify building an ML model later. So here's a more rigorous decision framework. It's a simple three-step process. Step one, establish the non-ML baseline. Before writing a single line of ML code, build the simplest possible heuristic or rule-based solution. Remember the data science mantra, your first model should be a group buy. If that simple baseline already solves 80% of the problem, the business case for a complex ML model becomes much weaker. It provides a benchmark that any future model must decisively beat. Step two, assess the cost of an error. Ask the question, what is the business cost of a false positive versus a false negative? For a billing system, a false positive, an overcharge, is catastrophic and can destroy user trust. For a recommendation system, a bad recommendation is trivial. If the cost of an error is unacceptably high, you need a deterministic system, not a probabilistic one like machine learning. Step three, determine the need for interpretability. Do you need to explain how a decision was made to a customer, a regulator, or an internal auditor? A simple if statement is truly interpretable. A complex neural network, even with post hoc explainability tools like SHAP or LIME, is still a black box. If your domain requires true, unambiguous interpretability, like in finance or healthcare, a rules-based system is often the only acceptable choice. Ultimately, senior level data science isn't about building the most technically complex systems. It's about delivering robust business value efficiently. Maturity means knowing when a simple, deterministic solution is not just good enough, but is in fact the superior choice. And that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. I'm now legally obligated to ask you to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Don't worry, it's painless.